Hello everybody, it is my absolute pleasure as the University Chancellor to wish you well on this run up to Christmas. And I also very much hope you enjoy today's service of lessons and carols. Now it might be in a different format from normal as everything is different this year. 2020 is certainly not the year any of us predicted or expected but I am immensely proud of the way people have responded to the challenges put in all of our paths. But I hope today is a day to relax and reflect and that you can just enjoy and take comfort from the incredible Christmas story. You can take inspiration from the wonderful readings we have thanks to our staff and students across the university and perhaps you'll even take to the floor and join in with the chapel choir. Whatever you do, I do hope you enjoy. Welcome to the University of Glasgow Service of Lessons and Carols for 2020. This service forms part of our Advent journey towards Christmas. It recalls ancient journeys of faith, the struggles of quite ordinary people who followed divine promptings and stars of wonder and who discovered new things about God and themselves along the way. We also rehearse the particular journey of a child being born, Jesus' journey towards inhabiting human life in its fullness that we celebrate at Christmas. At the end of a difficult year, these ancient songs and readings may speak afresh to us. They may be divine promptings to look up to hope in new beginnings. They might bring comfort, the reminder of God's presence and care in the midst of human life. Or they might simply be treasured traditions of communal gathering and reminding us that some things do not change. Although in a modified and shorter format this year, the service follows the traditional pattern. The story of the fall of humankind the promise of the Messiah and the birth of Jesus, told in four short Bible readings with carols recorded by the chapel choir. These recordings have been made over past weeks by individual singers in the chapel and in their own homes. The readers are drawn from across the university's student and staff community. So come, let us embark on our journey of lessons and carols this, this Christmas. O oh, come, let us adore him. So we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. As you journeyed into the forgotten places, that remote stable, be born anew in our forgotten places and our remote corners. Into the lives of the broken and hopeless, bring your hope into the lives of the powerful, bring your caution. Into the lives of the weary, bring your rest. Into the lives of the wise, bring your gentle inquiry. Into all our lives, our losses and our longings, so pronounced this Advent, bring your comfort and your joy. Be born anew in us, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus.
A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verses 15 to 18. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven the second time, and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand which is on the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, and the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the nursing child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the den of the adder. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Virginia Gastecho Batzegoen, creasa de ya un areno toitze. Nuiz eta inguru bat leiatu, peitzen zelutik jaitxi, mintzatzera aren. (tose) 
ainguria sartzen diolarik. Agur, grazia zira beterik, jauna da zurekin, benedikatu zira, eta aitatu emazten gainetik. A reading from the Gospel of St. Luke. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was out of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And now a benediction. God of the watching ones, the waiting ones, the slow and suffering ones, the angels in heaven, the child in the womb, give us your benediction, your good word for our souls, that we might rest and rise in the kindness of your company. Amen. <laughs>